My name is Ryan Roberts. I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a Marine Corps veteran. I actually didn't have a lot of exposure to the military growing up, but I did grow up in a house where service was, was very much highlighted. And when the events of 9-11 occurred, I saw that's where I could be of service. So I put the ideas of college on hold and I joined the Marine Corps. It was attached to 1st Battalion, 2nd Marines, and then the invasion kicked off. There was an unfortunate, catastrophic event with friendly fire that cost the lives of, of 18 of my brothers. Um, yeah. They asked for volunteers to step up and go in the track and pick up whatever was left. Without a second thought, jumped up and said, I'll do whatever needs to be done. That's, that's something that you can't train for, you can't prepare for. We had an enemy vehicle drove through multiple layers of Constantino wire and we opened fire to find out there were two children in the back of that car. Um, I was alone in the back of a track with a child when they took their last breath as I was trying to get them to some type of medical treatment. That is the worst of humanity. To see that and be part of that and know you were connected to something like that is just something that, you know, I, I trace that, I mean, my post-traumatic stress, my depression, my alcohol abuse, all of it, all of it, I trace back to that. It was the day before we were leaving, and there was a huge crater in the road. And unfortunately, from the time that we finished our patrol and left, they loaded that hole, lost three of my very, very close brothers and the two others that were in the vehicle, both of them were on the brink of death at that point. I mean, they were immediately medevaced. I don't know, just one loss is enough. And at that point, I mean, you're talking, I don't know, 50. It's like, it's unfathomable. I immediately sought help. Um, I knew I was broken. I knew there was something wrong. Um, like almost immediately, I mean, panic attacks ensued. I mean, it was just basically a shell, a robot going through motions. I didn't know who I was. Like, I had no sense of purpose. I had no emotions. I couldn't, I couldn't conjure up tears at funerals. I couldn't be connected to what was actually going on. And, you know, from the outside looking in, people probably thought I had it together. They probably thought I was good and I was happy. Because, you know, you look and they're like, oh, he's got a beautiful family now, and he's got a great career, and he's doing well for himself financially. I mean, I literally, when, get up, when I get up in the morning, I couldn't look in the mirror to get myself ready. I had to do it in the dark. I would turn a light on in the corner of the room, and I would get ready in the dark because I couldn't look at myself in the mirror. I hated myself. And I carried all of that shit with me for, I mean, until about a year and a half ago. I just trusted in it and I gave in to my fear and I said, I'm going to go there and I'm going to give it 110% and, and something beautiful is going to come out of it. I didn't, I didn't go into this space where I was having all of these visions. It was literally just me. <laughs> there was nothing else and nobody else, um, which was scary. But in that space, I was able to revisit those traumas and almost engage in like sense making around it. Like the medicine gets, tell me, you can let it go. Like it can all go. I was choosing suffering by not moving through it and past it. And when I came out of that experience, I was a new person. It's not, you know, some people say it's a new chapter. No, like I felt like I now had authorship over my own life. I had the opportunity to write my own book. But I just want you to know that like, if it wasn't for the work of so many people that are here right now, I don't know if I would be here right now. You know, my parents now still have a son. My wife still has a husband. My children have a father. That's something that I, I didn't know was gonna be true just a little over a year ago. So thank you. It, it does matter, you know? And it, and it really is just like helping that next person. And then, you know, what can I do now that I'm in this space to help the person behind me? And if I can help make that connection for people, that you don't have to do anything but be your unique self. If I can do nothing other than that, it's a life well lived. <laughs>